he didn't want me to wear that hat. And uh, he didn't want me to have long hair. and didn't want me to wear that white cowboy hat. But then you can't imagine it being another way. Any different. Yeah. Well, I'd been in Mexico making a Western, and I got that Stetson in Durango, and I was wearing it to the... They have uh, Halloween shops in Mexico? That <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, I did. laughs> was a real Stetson. And I kept wearing it to the read-throughs, and... Um, yeah, yeah there a good is. look. And Quentin says to me, you're... Um, you're not going to wear that hat. And, that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, yes, I am. You know? And he goes, no, you're not. You're going to cut your hair. And I go, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and so we had this little kind of s s silent war going on. And by, I think by the third um, read-through, I had become concerned about Uma because she would not make eye contact with me. And I Why went to Quentin that? and I said, listen, what's the deal with him? And I said, you know, we got to do this thing together. And I got to have, you know, she doesn't seem like she wants to communicate with me. I'm a little concerned. And he goes, no, 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 it's just the way she is. And uh, when we it comes down to it, she's going to be there and she'll be good. And I said, all right, you know, and I was leaving. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah. And I go, what? And he goes, you know, um, now I can't picture you without the hat. <laughs> I can't picture you without the hair, so we're going to do it. And I said, oh, well, okay. But then after about a week of shooting, I did this stuff with uh, David at the trailer. And then we're out in Bakersfield. I'm supposed to be doing the strip club. And he comes to my camper, and he gives me sides. He wrote a scene. And he gives it to me, and he goes, this is what we're going to shoot today. And I said, okay. And I read it, and it's the scene where the guy tells me to take off my fucking hat, right? So he wrote a scene to make me get rid of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he set me up, man. He let me get comfortable. He knew I wanted it. He knew it was my kind of, <laughs> Just, it was, yeah, it was my strength, right? I had the hat, you know, and, the hat. and then he made me take it off, because then I didn't have a choice, because yeah, it was in the script. No, right? <laughs> like, oh, shit, now I can't say no now, right? He, he probably toiled, how could I get him to take that fucking hat off for a while before he realized, I'll just put it in the script. Yeah, that's what he did, that's a genius, okay? That really is. But the thing is, is when I took it off... I don't think he really fully anticipated the emotional uh, <laughs> empathy that I was going to get. Because you really kind of were like, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, like, Bud, he take off his hat. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, you should have had a smaller hat underneath. Bud was bummed out. <laughs> little tiny one. Yeah. Like, those, like those Clinton things. Every time you take one off, there's another one underneath. Yeah, little... Until finally there's like this fucking thing. Tiny Is little this one derby. okay? What about this one? <laughs> oh, man. That's, who knew Kill God. Bill was all about the hat? Yeah. <laughs> it, it was. was a, kind of, everyone was you know, obsessed with the hat. It was I a sympathetic it. scene for you. Yeah. I became the moral center yeah. of the film. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write the scene just so you get rid of it. Yeah, it was, I mean, God, what a thing to do, right? Did yeah. she not make eye contact with you cause, because of the, the way you guys were kind of playing? Uh, like, uh, you know, she was kind of supposed to not like you. Yeah. I think, a well, I, I, I mean, everybody, all actors have their own way of getting to this psychological place they need to be. And I think maybe she was just trying to fill me out and just trying to figure out what I was going to do or... Let's face it, I mean, I had to do some pretty bad things with her mm -hmm. and some pretty mean things. And uh, I think she was just trying to find her way around me or trying to figure out what I was doing. Or maybe she was trying to throw me off. <laughs> I don't know. But the first thing we did was the thing in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. And um, when I first went to the set, her stunt double was in the back of the truck, all tied up with belts and stuff. And I went, oh, God, you know, I... I'm going to play this whole thing with a stunt double. <laughs> but then when after we did the blocking, and then I came to shoot, my God, there she was. And so, and she started looking at me then, and um, I realized that it was just her way of preparing. Hmm. But she ended up being great, and I, I, I love our stuff together. I blew the whole front of the camera off with that shotgun, by the way. Really? Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> she watched when she comes in. The whole front of the camera? Yeah, I blew the whole lens off the camera. Bam. See wow. That? Whoa. <laughs> I had it right up against the lens, and uh, but the shells were rock salt. And when I test, I did a test fire outside with it, and 
it was just like a big cloud of dust come out. And so they were thinking that it wasn't going to really hurt the camera. And they kept telling me to do it over here and over here and over there. And I and Quentin said, no, 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 no. I want you to point it right in the lens. And I said, yeah, I think so, too. So he loaded me up and, they, you know, it should have had some plexi in front of it or something. But it was so close, I think they were worried about a reflection. But when I fired that thing, it blew the whole front of it. <laughs> wow. Like a $50,000 Panavision. <laughs> just shit. Blow, yeah. <laughs> when I come out that door, um, her sword was laying on the ground, and I kicked it, and it spun around in the air and stuck right in that barrel back there. It went around like a pinwheel and stuck right in the barrel. <laughs> really? Yeah. That was pretty crazy. It's a good trick. Funny. What I, a I only have one bracelet on there, too, you see. And in the stills of the movie, I have two bracelets because I forgot to take mine off. <laughs> I love these little these little details. They're great. All I, I want to do out, is watch movies with yeah, Michael. Yeah, no kidding. That's all I want to do. I, know, I like... picked out that shirt, too. I still have that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it is very you when you I'm see, looking now, at that shirt. And... This is a spit. Now, you know who really was spitting in her face? It was Quentin. Really? Yeah. See, she spit at me. But then they gave her a plunger. F and f see? Oh. Oh. See, the, some of the spits in my face were Quentin spitting at me. Oh. <laughs> some of her was him spitting at her because he wanted to be a specific, precise, certain way. See, she's completely a toy now. And there goes the needle right in the butt. Yeah. They had a lot of volunteers that night. And I think every girl on the crew did a, a take of their butt in the Uma Thurman jeans to get a needle in the butt. <laughs> wow. And the shot in the movie just now of that, that was Quentin who stuck it in the ass. That wasn't me. <laughs> he gets all the good he gets all all yeah, the good man. jobs. No, he, great he came over job. and he says, All right, all right, all right, you've done enough. He goes, ah, you know, I'm gonna do the needle in the butt and I was like oh. All right, <laughs> Did, Mr. Director. Does Quentin have a uh, a foot fetish? I've heard that. Yeah, because yeah. there's every every shot, every uh, movie yeah. has some kind of shot with a girl's feet, and yeah, yeah, he kind of does. But you see, he, in fact, I was supposed to wear two different colored cowboy boots. <laughs> I was going to have one red one, the uh, red uh, python boot, and then I was going to wear a black one on the other foot. It was my idea to have the two different cowboy boots on. And there's one scene in the picture when we're massacring everybody at the wedding. I do have the two different boots on. But then later on, he was like, no, no, it's too much. I don't want the two boot thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, okay, whatever. You know, so I didn't get away with that one. But man, that's kind of a foot thing. It sounds like you guys yeah. got along. You and didn't apply to men. <laughs> Yeah, we, we no, do. No, didn't we, apply to men. I yeah. just did the friar's roast of him in New York City. Right, right on. They actually That's made it. me a friar. I am officially a friar. Oh, really? New York City, yeah. God bless those guys. And quite an honor to be a friar. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of Jerry old Lewis, school guys in there. Oh, yeah. Freddie, Freddie Roman, and Frank Sinatra, and Dean Martin. They don't show They're up so much the anymore. <laughs> They're pictures. They're pictures on They're the pictures wall. Their pictures are on the wall. Good enough. <laughs> you see that? I got two bracelets on now. Yeah. See? Ah, yeah. A little flub see, there. Yeah, I was in my. Flub. Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> a little flub. She was good too. Daryl Hannah was enjoyable. Yeah. I'm gonna go home now and watch this yeah. fucking movie. Yeah, I think so. It, it gets me psyched. That's it's such a. It's such a good movie. She lives in Malibu. I see her all the time. Yeah. Yeah, she's nice. Sometimes people think Deanna is Daryl Hannah. That's wasn't that her own car in that too? That uh, that I no, that's mine. That Trans Am. Uh, yeah, wasn't that hers? No, I, I, no, I took that. I actually acquired that while we were shooting. So, what don't you take from the set? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Takes whatever he wants. <laughs> you can work, tell him no, though. You can work things out. You know, if, yeah. you, if you approach the subject. In the Make right some way. deals. What's the coolest yeah. piece like mo uh, movie memorabilia you have? I have that sword that's in my hand. Yeah. And, oh damn, uh, that's oh nice. Oh my god, I got this Stetson. The Steve McQueen, gone? I, I guess the Steve McQueen that's pretty, that's shot pretty cool. is probably the best thing I got. That's pretty... Yeah, that's a great it's piece neat. of... It's uh, a nice yeah. ratchet 12-gauge pump. Well, fuck, this was great, Michael. Michael Madsen always fucking a hit on our show. Absolutely. You guys are very gracious. Always fun, thinking. man. What are you love kidding me? We can on. listen to this all day. Love having you on, man. I want to just watch a whole movie with him one day. Yeah. yeah. Danny fun. had a great idea, though. Guys are fun. Yeah. Michael, Danny had a great idea. Uh, yeah. Just... 
go over people's houses and do live commentary for the movies. <laughs> like, yeah. instead of having a commentary track on the DVD, it's just like, no, here's Michael Madsen. He's coming over the house and you sit down. You... That's a great idea. You gave me, yeah, you gave me a really good one. I That's wish you were running a studio. I'm, I'm unemployed. That's great. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Talk, we'll, we can talk after the show. Not for yeah, long, sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, geez, I guess that's I it. Michael stuff. Madsen, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Thank you. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Fucking hot. Fucking hot. How many times have I told you? Don't wear that fucking hat here. How many? <laughs> well, customers wear hats. Yeah, I'm not the boss of the customers. I'm the boss of you. And I'm telling you that I want you to keep that shit kicker hat at home. <laughs>